What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to the ninth episode of Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song. This one's titled Harmony of One's Heart, My Mission, Your Future. Okay, so this one's of the arc so far. This is the one where I have no idea where we're going. It's also the only one that extended to uh, three episodes, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm really not sure where this is going. So, Ophelia uh, and her suicide, uh, it turns out that... It is partly to do with uh, Antonio, her um, uh, partner, Sound AI, uh, who mysteriously shut down uh, a few years ago and is now her? Has taken over her? Like, I don't know where they're going with that aspect of it. Like, why would he do something like that? I really have no idea where they're going to go with that uh, part of the story. Um, maybe he's... Maybe he got sick of watching her doubt her abilities and fail to utilize her talent, maybe, or something along those lines. I don't know. But why would he do that? How has he managed to do that and supplant himself in another AI? It makes no sense. I, I didn't think that was possible, not for a sound AI to do, unless it was someone else in getting involved. And, well, since we have the Toak guy here, uh, Hugo, who I don't know how the hell he's here. He shouldn't be here. Like, he has to be an AI. That's the only way you could have him there, right? Like, especially in the look that he has. Like, either he... Well, no, he can't be, um... He can't be human. And, like, just the son or someone of uh, the previous Hugo. Because uh, he, he specifically said, like, to see you again, Vivi. Like, like he recognizes her and knows of her on a more personal level than just, oh, you're the guy that my dad told me about, right? So, he's got to be an AI. He's got to be an AI. There's no other way. Um, so, what the hell that... Why that visage is an AI? Who made an AI that looked like that, first of all? Is it just coincidence? It can't just be coincidence, but... I mean, that'd be a messed up storyline, right? The, the, the bodies of the dead end up being scanned and used as likenesses for future AIs. That'd be messed up. I don't think they're going to go that route with it, but could you imagine if they did something like that? That'd be really messed up. Anyway, uh, imagine you're just walking around and you see someone's uh, AI that looks like the spitting image of your dead relative. That that would mess me up. That would really mess me up. Anyway, um, Diva has been captured by this uh, uh, suspicious Yugo person. Matsumoto's confronting Antonio... It's got to be Yugo getting involved as well, but I don't know why. Why? I guess because Toak, they want the events to happen and everything that goes on. I, I don't know. I really have no idea where they're going with this one at all. So I'm just going to shut up and let them show it. Because <laughs> I think that's the only way I'm ever going to get this. Because I have no idea where this arc of the story is going. It's the first time of the arc where I'm really like just not quite sure what's going on. Like, previous arcs and stuff, I kind of got a basic understanding of it after the two episodes of their run. I'm hoping the third episode helps clear that up a bit, because of the arcs, this is the one that's really lost me so far. Uh, but I guess we'll see what it does, because I assume this is going to be the conclusion of it. Maybe? I mean, harmony of one's heart makes me think maybe the harmony between Ophelia and Antonio. Maybe they, they reach a harmony. I don't know. I have no idea where they're going with this one. Um, but we're going to load the episode up here. As per usual, these are time-based format reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full picture and picture, you can go to my Patreon down the description below. £4 a month gets access to all picture and picture reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as uh, Log Horizon Season 2, World Trigger, and Symphony G. Um, we also have movie reactions with Kiki's Delivery Service just going up yesterday, so go check that one out if you haven't already. Uh, on the first of the month, next month, we'll be doing uh, our poll to see what movie we react to in June, so stay tuned for that one as well. Uh, but here on YouTube, we do time based. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see a time of the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play. And play you side episode, I side episode, and we should be in sync. Watch this one on Funimation as per usual, since they're the ones who licensed it. We have the Anaplex logo and then the Funimation logo to start. So, about 12 seconds of logos, give or take. I'll call them out as I go past, but you can also use screen flash on my face, the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into uh, this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Anaplex. Formation. Cheers. Hmm. 
Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, just to <laughs> get that out there. <laughs> I think I read somewhere that the full version of this song comes out very soon. I would like to hear the full version of this. Alright. Antonio, huh? Okay. Well... Your mission is... Alright, we said it, right? Ominous. Oh, that's when it happens. So you... You took a place. Okay. Right. Oh shit, okay. Your actual form can still move as well. Interesting. Okay. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, he's AI. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Do they? Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Lines completely blurs. Hmm. So it was you giving that flashback we saw. 
That's what led him to Toak. Yeah, okay, understandable. The AI who saved you. Hmm. I took over this body, okay. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Progress bar on the top right, though. Amount of gas in there. Yep. You're going to ignite upon the bullet. Clever. Jesus. Getting fancy with it now. Hmm. You go. Uh... I'm lost. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome, but... Jesus. Oh, nice. That was a nice bit of animation right there. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean... The animation is brilliant. Mm. Everyone. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Oh boy. Yes, combat time. God, the animation. Oh, it's so good. Transitions as well. Nice. Blaze. Of course, it's a piano right now. Hmm. Nice. Comes back to that, huh? That's gonna be relevant later than that. Just got spelled out, oil or fuel or whatever it is. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Just doing it to be worthy of you. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting what they're going for with the whole mission thing here. Oh. What? The fuck was that? <laughs> right. How do you know so much? So he's does he travel in time as well then? What? Huh? 
Ага. Yes. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's still ongoing. We haven't fixed that. Yeah, she's still dead, though. I guess it's no longer seen as a suicide, so it's going to change perception. So her diva personality is going to be wiped. Vivi should come back in its place. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Four months time. <laughs> mm hmm.
What happens is she's just going to collapse on stage or what? Oh, she's stuck there. Taking back control. Hmm. One episode. Very mindfucky episode. I f oh god. I think I've misunderstood this episode. This was a very tough episode to follow, I think, for me. I don't know how everyone else is gonna feel about it, but I think I kinda understand the gist of where they're going with this. Kinda, sorta kinda. I'll get into it in the discussions in a minute, but I think I know where I uh, we'll see. Animation was on point, though. Absolutely on point. I hope we get one more close quarter uh, combat scene like uh, we just had there before uh, the end of the show. Because whoever's animating that specifically, they're doing a fantastic job. Alright, preview time, I guess? What's it gonna be? Mm hmm. Would you like to go to war with me? Does that last one say? No longer capable of working on the Singularity projects. Would you like to go to war with me? Uh, so episode 10, uh, Vivi score, singing from my heart. Uh, good night, Vivi. She's holding a baby for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, so where I think they were going with this episode, where I think they're going, No, who am I kidding? I don't have a clue, do I? Who am I kidding? Um, I think they're trying... When it comes to the missions and stuff, right? Because the missions are relatively vague for an AI, right? Like, it's not like a simple... It's not a simple thing to say, make everyone happy you are singing. Well, how does one go about that and the exploration of that? These are like... The sisters are like this advanced AI type, right? And so it's really starting to blur the lines between what is AI and what is human. And I think they even covered that with the teacher's funeral because they're mourning him like he was a human and giving him that sort of treatment, but with none of the respect and dignity that you would truly give a human. You wouldn't replay their final moments. Like, if, you, if one of your family members was killed in an accident and it was caught on CCTV, you wouldn't watch that CCTV together at the funeral, right? But for the AI, you see the final moments of that AI because that's a thing people do, apparently. I don't know why that's became a thing, but they're kind of showing how there is a distinction, like, yes, he's an AI, but he's also kind of human in a way because of the way they treat them and the way they interact and the way they behave now, especially with uh, Vivi or Diva, whichever. Well, no, it kind of is specific on which one you deal with in that instance. 
but they are blending the line between AI and humans to the point where it's like they're not one or the other. They're a mix of both now. I think they're meant to be trying to explore that aspect of it. At least that's where I think they're trying to explore that aspect of it. Because the missions are so vague in that sense. And then when it comes to Ophelia and, um, and Antonio... Oh, I don't even know where to begin with them. I don't even know where to begin with them, honestly. Their storyline has kind of messed me up to the point where I don't even know what the storyline was. I, I couldn't even really take a guess to what their thing was. Um... Well, it's obviously they had, like, a romantic intention between each other because she wanted to sing for him, he wanted her to sing for him. It's like, it, there was very much clearly a bond there from being partners and all that stuff. He just took it in a weird... He took it in a wrong way and then realised as, as, as soon as he did that, he realised how, like, he was wrong, but he kept doubling down on his wrong attitude. Like, for the sake of the mission and all that. But it's... Okay, let me just see what this synopsis says here from this episode, because I think it might help me put my thoughts into it. Because, yeah, like... It doesn't it doesn't initially make sense for... If, if, if your mission is just to make people happy with your singing, you sing, right? Why would you go to such lengths and all the extra things that we've been going on with, like, Singularity Project and everything that's going on? Like, AI is becoming more and more advanced that that is blurring the lines between AI and humanity. I feel like that is the intention that they're trying to score, or trying to score, trying to imply here is that those lines are being blurred now. It's not like you've got an AI, you've got a human, you've kind of got like a mix almost. Um, but... Because like, people like like Antonio and uh uh like to say you go as well they exist for their mission and just coldly follow that mission whereas like Matsumoto himself to an extent I guess it's kind of hard to tell with him and what Vivi did was deviate from that mission for another purpose and to explore that mission in just like not just I I need to make people happy with singing so I sing and that's it it's like well what can I do to improve my singing and discover the heart like what what does putting your heart into something mean and discovering the idea of what one's heart is maybe that's why it's called harmony of one's heart it's like trying to find out what my heart is what does it mean to have a heart and to put that into your singing and that starts to lead you down the route of humanity and that's where the lines start blurring between an AI who regularly follows a mission and humans who have just complete free will to choose their own missions at will. I feel like that's the point they're trying to make. Maybe. I don't know, though. It's it's quite a confusing episode. And this arc in total was kind of confusing. I, I'm with it on the Vivi and Diva things and how Diva's personality and Vivi's personality exist in the same sphere... But Vivi's was shut away as Diva's was rebooted to take its place. But Vivi's was still back there struggling with what happened and what caused the meltdown in the first place. And has now been pushed back into this limelight. But not ready to be pushed into this limelight. And still doesn't understand. Still doesn't understand after everything that's happened. And that's going to cause more risk between her and Matsumoto probably. In what will lead to where the next arc is. I don't know if we're getting a time skip to the next arc, or if we're just going to follow straight on from this, if this is going to be a longer arc, like, because we've got four more episodes after this, right? Yeah, we've got four episodes left of the show. So we could either have two double arcs. We could have a single episode here to build Vivi back up after spending three episodes with Diva, and then go into a triple episode, a final arc. Or we're going to have all four of these episodes contribute as a major arc. Or just do two and two again. I'm, I'm really not sure where they're going with this. I don't know where the finale is either. We've got 40 years now until... 
the AI human war. I don't even know if our actions at this point are going to get to the point that we want to, because even Matsumoto notices how we took actions that should fix things, but the history of what we need to change, whilst most of it seems somewhat rooted, the timeline of when we get there is all mashed up, hence why um, uh, Metal Float existed much, much earlier than it should have done in the history, right? Um... But yeah, I, if anyone has any other thoughts on what this episode and what this arc essentially gave us, please let me know, because it's a hard one to work my head around. It's one of the more confusing arcs that we've had. I think I'm on the right track with the whole mission thing. I could be completely wrong, though. Uh, but Yugo seems to have technology from the future. So where he got that from, I don't know. Maybe there's someone... As we're changing the future and going down different timelines, whatever future we end up with, maybe that's an undesirable future for whoever is there and gave that opportunity to Yugo to try and counteract that. Just like how there was someone who gave Matsumoto the mission to go back and fix things. Someone's given someone else a mission to go back and fix things as well. And to what extent that is, I don't know. But I feel like that's where they're going with. So it's not just Matsumoto who's gone back to try and change the, change the past and then therefore the future, but someone else is also doing the same thing. So just like how in Higurashi, with um, the spoilers if you have not seen the latest Higurashi, uh, Go was the latest uh, series. Uh, if you have not seen that, then ignore this bit. Uh, and this is probably the last thought I get to before the end of the video. So if you don't want to hear anything, turn off now. You're not going to miss anything else after this. Uh, but in Higurashi Go, it was the case of Rika was not the only looper. There was another looper changing things in the form of, um... What's her name? Oh god, I forgot her character's name. Um, uh, it began with an S, right? Probably? Maybe? Something like that. Who knows? Um... Satoko? Was that her name? Yeah, Satoko. Satoko Hoshio. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so Satoko's going back and looping at the same time as Rika's going back and looping, and that's now playing events and why things are changing even more. So maybe that's what they're going for here with Vivi as well, in that someone else is also playing to change the past than what Matsumoto's doing. That's where maybe I'm thinking they're going with Yugo's involvement there. But beyond that, I don't know. It was... Um... Yeah, it was a very confusing episode. I'd love to discuss more about this to see if I can get it straight in my head with you guys and see if we can get to the actual correct intent behind it, but... That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments. I need those comments desperately this time, I think. Uh, there's no worry about spoilers, because there is no spoilers. This is an original work. There's nothing to spoil, so uh, not go all your heart's intent to comment on what you've bought this episode. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 line you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.